after all this whole thing, I got so much views lately and like if I had the chance to do it again, I'll do it again over and over. I, I Maybe I'm trying to like say it because I do that, whatever. I like to draw cute girls, raise your hand who also likes that. People are canceling all types of different things nowadays and we are not even surprised anymore. So I'm against all of you guys. <laughs> Hello my darlings, my beauties, and my dear friends. Welcome to my channel, my name is Rina, and in this video I want to talk about the jelly art drama because the tea is getting cold. I am late to most of the things in my life, but it's better late than never, right? Is it just me who was really confused about the whole thing? Okay, so first let's talk about what happened with the jelly art drama and I'm going to share some of my opinions and my personal story related to stealing art. Talk about that a little bit, okay? Artist named Perurika created an art TikTok tutorial about how to draw a portrait, I guess, right? And there were other people who started like replicating some of the features and using the tutorial to basically to learn how to draw, you know, explore the style, I guess. And that's a pretty common thing, right? If you're posting a tutorial and if you have a following, of course the tutorial is going to be in your style. And of course people who are going to be like following the, the tutorial, they're going to be trying to replicate your style. It is made for your audience to learn how to draw, right? Right. So that's perfect. That's great that the tutorial is working pretty much. People are using it to learn how to draw. Also in this video, I'm drawing just my regular portrait. Basically, someone posted a drawing that it was like very similar to how Perica draws. And I'm going to put it on the screen. Perica went after this person. And that's how the huge drama began. I have a lot, a lot of thoughts on the whole situation. Not very apologetic, right? A lot of people were like pretty upset about the whole thing. After all this whole thing, I got so much views lately. And I did a lot of the things that I've been called out for, but I'm standing with my point. I didn't think what I did was wrong. Like, if I had the chance to do it again, I'll do it again, over and over. I don't know why I'm getting cancelled for, for calling people out to trace my art, like what? Let's talk about the art style a little bit. Okay, so I was really confused on why we are creating names for everything these days. Like, I don't know if it's going to be the just a TikTok online moment type of situation and it's going to pass and nobody is going to use this term anymore as a jelly art style or what because at first i thought jelly is somebody's like artist nickname because i was like why we're calling this thing as a style it was so interesting to me because to me it's not like a very specific art style it's pretty much semi-realism that was always around by the way i forgot to say i was drawing with my own brushes in this video if you like my brushes by the way they are perfect for the jelly art style i'm also going to be releasing my second brush pack that is perfect for portraits amazing beautiful Beautiful brushes for lashes, eyebrows, kira kira, like glitter and everything. Link will be in the description below. You should get them. They are very good Procreate brushes, I swear. <laughs> I was confused on why we're calling it something because in my opinion, it was on the internet since I registered on the internet the first time more than 20 million years ago. The art style is, as I said, pretty basic. A lot of people call it basic, even though I don't think it's basic in terms of like simple or easy to do. I don't think so even though there is this type of stigma right that is so easy to draw like instagram art or cute girl portraits it's still somebody's choice to do that like whatever i'm also I, I maybe i'm trying to like say it because i do that whatever i like to draw cute girls raise your hand who also likes that so what i was going to say is that it's pretty much a style where you have this uh, cute little character usually facing the viewer front with huge eyes sparkly glitter with like long lashes a lot of blush and pretty juicy plumpy lips a lot of accessories usually with piercings and usually little to no emotions i don't know to me there are a lot of a lot of interesting things that people do with this style because in my head it's very broad it's like very broad but at the same time very narrow i don't even know how to classify that that's why i was so confused how do people call it a style even in my opinion it's just a trend in the semi-realism that is popular right now because of this uh community art drama art community drama so what I realized in this whole drama situation, there were three types of people that I see. Okay, three. First, who want to cancel Peridica and just try to cancel her because she was going after this very young artist 
right? And we're going to talk about that. The second type of people who try to cancel the artist, <laughs> you know, fans of Perica who are trying to defend Perica, saying that it was like clearly a copy of a drawing and all that, or like stolen art style or stolen character or stolen whatever. And the third type of people in the story is people who are just hating and trying to cancel the whole style. So people are canceling all types of different things nowadays and we are not even surprised anymore. So I'm against all of you guys. <laughs> For real, like, I am going to talk about some artists today and I forgot to say that disclaimer in the beginning. I don't want anyone to be cancelled. I don't want any harm into anyone who's going to be mentioned in this video. Also, this feels like the style really influenced by this type of makeup. I don't know if you guys see that, but that was my first impression that this makeup is like very popular these days. I love it. I'm also like, you know, trying to follow the tutorials and buying all these cute glosses and glitter glitters and blushes. And I feel like I was doing similar things in my art for ages trying to replicate this type of style right and then i feel like these are i will put it on the screen somewhere these are type of drawings that i would personally classify as jelly art style if you're following the simple description of that art style right cute big eyes the sparkles the blush and all this stuff but again it's very broad and some of these artists maybe don't identify under this art style so that's just how i imagine it let me know if you agree or disagree Rico was not the first one uh, doing that. A lot of other artists did the style. Before we jump into the juicy part and my opinions about the, co the, the controversy and the drama and some things that we can learn from that, I want to start like a little pop quiz moment, okay? Let's let's have like a, like a short experiment, okay? I'm going to show you some artworks and I want you to write in the comments how many artists you see in these drawings. Is it just one artist or is it two different artists or three different artists? artists how many different artists you see in these drawings okay how many people drew this is it just one person or you know and write it in the comments write it in the comments you know try to try to identify So, okay, this is going to be a correct answer here. This is not a jelly art style, and this is not, in my opinion, not particularly an anime style, but definitely in the Japanese art community that is close to anime. And I don't know if there's a name or classification, I doubt it, but there are several artists that are, in my opinion, again, are kind of similar. They're not particularly anime, they're not semi-realism, that's for sure, but there are similar features. I don't know if it's a trend or if there were like like one or two artists who set some trend techniques or whatever but i think they are pretty similar in some things though of course it's obviously you can tell there's a these are all different artists but what i'm trying to say a lot of the artists especially from the same like art community bubble are going to you know see each other's work and interact between one another learn from one another and even unconsciously use some of the features from the art that they love because the things that in influence us a lot not only just our art and not only not even just art we see on tiktok or somewhere it's all these other things that we see that influence us that actually unconsciously helps us to create our own style and it's not a thing that we can control a lot but if you are trying to create your own style of course you are going to at first since you don't have any experience you're going to try to replicate somebody's art an artist that you admire basically right so perica made a tutorial and another much younger artist, I guess. Perica was 18 and the artist was 13. And uh, Perica went up to this artist accusing of stealing and tracing some other things that were said. And the artist was trying to defend themselves, showing that it's not traced, it's drawn, it's drawn from the scratch and stuff like that. That is drawn in a specific app where you cannot hide the layers, so it's all legit and stuff. First of all, <laughs> I think you can see that it's not traced. Of course, it's very similar, but it's clear as a day that, of course, this young younger artist was you know trying to replicate the work and also i just want to say for a 13 year old it's great the person is doing a lot of progress in like you know technical skill of drawing digitally so that's 
you know, great. It's literally a child who was inspired by some artists and posted it online for other people to see, like a drawing. It can start, of course, a huge debate, right? Where is this fine line between completely stealing the style and the character and the whole setting and the whole composition and the colors and everything and being inspired by it? Where is this fine line? Where is the fine line between, okay, saying, okay, I was just inspired by my favorite artist. At what, at which point you're supposed to be crediting another artist? right because that's another topic that people started to talk about also i saved some comments from tiktok people have a lot of different opinions about jelly art style with anime the art style there are various ways of doing it that makes it unique and distinct to the creator with jelly style you can't even tell who the creator is i don't agree with this person because i already showed you drawings that could be considered jelly art style i feel they are pretty distinguishable i mean they are in a similar style that's because they are but with even with anime art style they can look similar as we saw especially with a classical anime style that is that people use a lot as well that's super popular you know it's pretty but it gets very very repetitive i feel like people just say that because it's popular right now and it's trending you can see it all the time and people clearly can see that it's all like similar because it's so popular right now people are doing it often but if you look at other styles actually and especially like anime style or like realism they are also like the trends are repetitive right they are <laughs> within jelly jelly art there could be more personality i think it's the lack of personality to begin with so another point that there's not a lot of personality and emotion in this art but honestly if you look at all the popular trending art styles right instagram style or anime style or semi anime style they are almost always emotionless people jelly art style is basically like a cute asian trending makeup look plus e-girl vibe like dead inside vibe like a mugshot composition <laughs> and of course a lot of people say that oh it's so repetitive and you can only draw like, cute girls so like limiting but see people are very creative i saw some other people on tiktok draw like old people in the style it's very cute and funny so take a look at it it's it's pretty funny i hate jelly art with a burning passion interesting some people really hate this style because it's plain it's good of course but it's really basic i don't think it's basic though, you know i don't think it's basic you can disagree with me yeah some of the features are similar among some artists but that's because it's like a trend right now right it's not basic there are a lot of some people draw uh, like different characters and they're pretty distinguishable and have a lot of detail basic meaning unoriginal which the jelly st art style is there was like a huge debate in the comment section people are still talking back and forth about it what happened to the internet like like why we're literally hating on the art style like if you don't like something why you are writing comments and arguing to someone on the internet about it i just don't understand like if it's a trend and obviously it's a trend right now people are drawing tiktoks and instagram like girls in the style because they like it and other people look at it because they like it if it's not your cup of tea just move on just click off especially i noticed a lot of younger artists do it i don't understand why you would want to attack like a child online let's talk about drama right now right so Verica was basically attacking the person who stole her art first of all we already talked a little bit about this but like where's the fine line between uh, the stealing and like when you are supposed to be referencing the artist and I think in this case even if the artist like clearly referenced Verica that would not help it's just I think either the personality or the face right so that's my theory Verica is like 18 years old and I couldn't say of course I don't know this person personally right but I was also posting art online when I was 17, 18 and before that as well. I was also creating drawing tutorials in my native language. They were getting like hundreds of thousands of views and some people were copying me, you know, because they were copying the tutorial. Like they were trying to follow the tutorial. That's why it looks like my drawing because they were following the tutorial and I remember when I it's like a personal. Okay, it's a little bit personal story. I was like 18, around like 17 or 18. When I saw it, I was so angry because 
honestly I was super immature at that age and I didn't realize that people were like trying to learn from that so I was getting angry without realizing that I should be happy that people are actually admiring my art to the point where they would follow a tutorial to try to learn how to draw like me but that was like long time ago it was like over six five years ago I'm a different person right now I feel like I grew up from that a lot and right now I would be so happy to see if someone tried to you know learn from my art honestly I wouldn't even have a lot of feelings if I saw just online a drawing that looks like mine or the character that looks like mine or the style especially if it's like a younger artist a small account a beginner person you know that wouldn't even cross my mind to like even you know some people say like you just have to DM the person and you know maybe ask to take it down or talk about it privately but honestly I wouldn't even do that uh, not to say to make a whole video and trying to cancel the person I wouldn't even like try to reach out to them because why would I do that clearly if they are doing that they are learning from my art which is amazing but another thing is that you cannot steal the style in the sense that even though you are learning to draw similar to somebody else after some time you're going to grow into your own thing most of the beginner artists I know it from my own experience like you can not regularly continuously draw in the same style that you are trying to copy because at some point you will grow out of it or you will which is more possible develop your own thing because as I said a lot of things influence you maybe you won't like that style that you were copying originally like trying to steal right from another artist and that's I think the most preferable scenario is that you're learning on a couple of artwork maybe right and then you're slowly developing your own thing like developing your own style also looking into other artists work not just that one and of course there are a lot of other people who say that no this art style is amazing trying to defend either the younger artist or Prudica and to be honest I understand both sides of the story I understand the young artist who was just trying to learn and posted it online I don't think it should be prohibited to post something you know the replica of the drawing like it's I think it should be fine the person was not trying to sell it right or um monetize in any way just sharing why not i also understand perica because it's a frustration maybe due to i don't want to call someone immature or something maybe it's really really like how perica sees the world and the situation thank you so much for watching please share your opinions in the comments and i see you bye bye